there's almost no chance that by now you have not heard Violent J's new Walking Home single. Being that it's been out since, you know, the people who were at the gathering were able to get it early and now it's being put out onto the vault or psychopathic merch. I have no fucking idea, but it's out there. So if you haven't heard this song yet, it's really easy. Go to my channel. I've uploaded the song and I paired it with a video that showed off all of the comic uh, panels to go with it, I guess. It's kind of like a, a fan-made music video sort of deal where I edited in the comic to go with the lyrics as it went through the song. So if you haven't seen the song yet or listened to it, seen that comic, go ahead, check that out and uh, decide whether or not you like it. Personally, I thought it was all right. Uh, Violent J said he wanted to be the next Wizard of the Hood. Now, that's a tall fucking order, and I think that it's just about impossible. And, um, you know, as much as I like Walking Home, I think it was a pretty solid track. Uh, not off to a good start, man. You're not getting anywhere near Wizard of the Hood with that. So, uh, we got that out of the way. I promise I'm not going to be hating on this. Um, but what I want to show you is, now that I've talked about the song a little bit, um, I want to show you the actual product. And what you'll be getting if you decide to put the $117 into this. Um, and then we'll talk a little bit more later about the song itself, too. So, here's the backpack it comes with. I have the pockets open. And obviously, it doesn't come that way. I'm, I just did that because I'm going to be talking about it. So, remember, this pack carries a $117 price tag. So, that's pretty steep. All right. Um... So we'll just look at these pieces one by one and I'll tell you about what I think the value would be if they were sold alone. And then we're going to determine um, whether or not this is really worth $117. Should you buy it or should you just wait till the compilation CD comes out that has all the tracks on it? Well, let's, let's take a look at it. We're going to start with in the front pocket when I bought this. This is where the actual CD was. So... This is the CD cover, I'm sure you've seen it. Um, I know that some other people have uploaded this song to YouTube. Just put this as the video, just a still image of this. So, I mean, you look at the back, it's just a little clip of uh, Final J's Neighborhood in this comic book. So it's pretty sweet. I actually like the art style on um, this Walking Home project a lot more than I liked the art for the Pendulum comics. I know a lot of people uh, I've said that's pretty sweet art, but honestly, it's just wasn't my style. It kind of detracted from the comics themselves. But we're here to talk about walking home, not the pendulum. So let me pop this fucker open. Um, of course, I was going to keep this sealed, but uh, I opened it up so that I could make that video happen for y'all. So here's uh, what behind it looks like, which, uh, you know, it's the same thing that we've got going on kind of on the front of the comic book I believe yeah so it's just Violent J walking you know it's sweet the art design's sweet if you haven't seen my um walking home video I was just talking about this whole inner pamphlet shows the art and who played all of the characters that are in the book there's Matt Blozana or Rosanna or whatever the fuck her name was um Death Breath Beth, whatever the fuck. It doesn't matter. There's different characters in here. They're all played by different people. Sugar Slam, Blase Rose, Shaggy Two Dope, Straight Jacket, whatever. It doesn't matter. So here's the CD. It's kind of cool that it's a full uh, jewel case setup and not just a little cardboard case because I'm not a fan of that. So the CD itself, we'll say, you know, typically ICP charges $10 for a CD. Um, Ouija, he'll charge $20 a CD. And sometimes ICP will charge, you know, 40 for something crazy that they're trying to make a collector's item. So we'll just say that was a $40 CD. We'll just be cool about that. Now, this backpack is cheap, all right? It's not really crazy high quality. It's embroidered, and that's sweet. The embroidery looks great. But the backpack overall is pretty cheaply made. And, I mean, I'm not going to complain. It's, it's rather small. It adjusts. Uh, I would not be using this backpack for anything serious unless you want it falling to shreds in about 10 minutes. Um, it, you know, it's not going to be very durable, but it's pretty cool. It's a neat little collector's item, so I'm down with that. And I'll be nice. We'll say $40 for the backpack, so we're up to 80 
I'm really, really trying to be cool about this and give them some high value. So here's the walking home beanie that we've been hearing so much about. Now, for the fans of tall beanies, this is not going to make you happy because it's a short one. But, you know, it's sweet. Uh, mine's doing some weird shit because the embroidery is so thick. It's kind of sucking it up. That's, that's what I'm trying to fix. But, yeah, it's just the same thing as uh, what's right here. Minus the whole Monday aspect. It just says walking home. Has a sweet picture of Violent J. So, I, I don't know. Maybe 20, 30. It always differs with the beanies a little bit. I'll say 30. So, we're up to 110. So, we're getting close to that 117. Seems like we'll hit it. But I'm also going to hit the low end of the spectrum after this. So, here is the comic book. Once again, go watch my video if you want to see what's in here. I already hurt this poor plastic bag enough, but here's the comic book. If you want to see the insides, go watch that video on my channel. It has the song and everything. Here's the back of it. What I didn't show in that music video type thing was the advertisements that are in it. There's an advertisement for Devereaux's Beats, advertisement for Yum Yum Bedlam, and the others are just slipping in my mind. I just looked at it to make that video. So we'll say 20 bucks on the comic, which is pushing it. Or we'll just say 10 because that's, I believe, what the stock haunted high-ons went for. And this is just the stock option. This isn't a variant cover or anything like that. I don't think there will be variants, but... Okay, so we'll say 10 bucks. We were at 110. That puts us at 120 for the whole pack. So, yeah, so far we hit our value, but we were doing high estimates. Why don't we hit the low end and say 20 bucks for the CD Ouija Max style. 30 bucks for the backpack says it's pretty cheap. You're at 50. We'll say 20 for the beanie, you're at 70. And 10 for this, you're at 80. So really, when it comes down to it, we're looking at an 80 to 120 ballpark for the value. And you gotta pay 117 for this. People are already mad. First off, he already said it was gonna be 117. So don't get mad. <laughs> Honestly, he already announced it. And it's going to be this way for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, whatever the fuck. It's still going to be the $117 bundles. So if you didn't like this for Monday, I got bad news for you about the rest of the week. It's going to be the same fucking thing. Anyways, doesn't matter. Should you buy this? Probably not. If you're a collector like I am, then yeah, you're, you're going to want to buy it. And it's going to be sweet. You can hang it up on the wall. Probably put mine over there. It's going on somewhere over there. So, you know, you're going to want it as a collector because it's sweet. But if you're not a collector, but you want the CD, my advice is wait until it's all said and done. When he has all the tracks out, he's going to be putting them on a compilation CD, according to what he's been saying. So if you want to wait for that, there's a pretty damn good chance that the compilation CD is not going to be a $117 bundle. It's probably going to be sold by itself. So if you're pissy about the $117 price tag, and believe me, I understand, I'm not talking shit, that's fucking expensive. But if you're pissy about that, and you're not a collector, and you don't want to get this shit just for it, then, you know, just wait for the full one to come out. And if you want just the beanie, or just the comic, or just the CD, or parts of it, you can do what my homie did. He bought the backpack, he bought everything, sold the CD off, sold the comic off, and then sold the backpack because all he wanted was the beanie. So, I mean, you have options. It will sell. I haven't even seen any of these pop up for sale yet. And I'm in all the badass trading groups on Facebook. And I haven't seen these popping up yet. Probably because they're available on, um, you know, on their website. But like I'm saying, piece them out. And I, I bet you they will sell because a lot of people don't want to pay the 117 So overall, this is a sweet set and a sweet product. Is it for everybody? No. In my opinion, and this is just my opinion, so take it how you will, tell me to fuck off, whatever. It's just a collector's item. And it's a pretty sweet collector's item, but if you're not a collector, it's probably not for you. So that's it. I just wanted to give you the, that brief overview. Now I did want to talk about the song very briefly. I liked the song, and when I uploaded it on YouTube, so far, I have the number one viewed one because A, I was first to upload it, and B, I put in the sweet-ass comic music video thing with it. So, so far, it's doing pretty well, and I'm not bragging. I'm saying that because it means I have a lot of comments on it. So, some of you people who have been watching my video have pointed out some very interesting things, and I want to give you all credit. 
Now, I don't know off the top of my head, but when I edit this, I'm going to put some screenshots and give you guys credit for your fucking what you're saying. Now, first off, people have been just agreeing with this throughout the comments section. It's kind of what I thought. Violent J's high-pitched voice thing that he just loves doing lately. You could be a fan. You could not be a fan. I am kind of in the middle. I'm not a super fan of it, but I don't dislike it. I think on this track, it kind of cheapens the whole ordeal. I think it would be better if he wasn't using that high-pitched voice, but what the fuck do I know? Doesn't matter. Now, the other thing I do want to bring up is that somebody pointed out that the beat on it kind of has the guitar riff from um, from The River by Zug Island, which was interesting as fuck, because I listened to the song, and I did not catch that, but somebody pointed that out as like, holy shit, you're right. So that's fucking great. I'm going to give you credit for that. Because I know that a bunch of other people heard it, and they they, were, they caught it. They are like, oh, that's the river. And everybody right now is calling me a juff or doing whatever they're going to do. But I did not catch that, so my bad. But I thought it was fucking sweet when you pointed that out. So, all in all, like I said, this is sweet. It's going to end up getting pieced out. And if you want to buy it and piece it out just for the comic or whatever, do it. Or if you're a collector, get the whole thing, hang it on your wall whack off to it do whatever you want to do it's a sweet set and i am fucking excited for tuesday wednesday thursday friday and whatever else happens on the weekend i'm looking forward to this with that said thanks for watching guys wake up in the night shaking because you toss and turn you know it's the sin something previously had burned the devil now is walking on the motherfucking earth